Good evening everyone and it's bed time for a bedtime story. Tonight's story is a bit of an unusual one. It's one of my favourites and there's a good message in there but it is also a little bit of a sad story and a bit of a story that, that makes you think about things but also might help if you've lost somebody or if somebody's passed away that's close to you or if things have changed in your life. So I brought Badger with me because the story is all about Badger and the story is called Badger's Part-Time Gifts and it's by Susan Varley. So this story goes out to everybody who maybe has suffered some loss or some change in their lives. Badger was dependable, reliable, and always ready to lend a helping paw. He was also very old. And he knew almost everything. Badger was so old that he knew that he must soon pass away. Badger wasn't afraid of death. Dying meant only that he would leave his body behind and his body didn't work as well as it had been in the days gone by. And Badger wasn't worried about that. His only worry was how his friends would feel how he was gone. Hoping to prepare them, Badger told them that one day he would go down the long tunnel and that he hoped they wouldn't be too sad when that happened. One day, as Badger was watching Mole and Frog race down the hillside, he felt especially old and tired. He wished more than anything that he could run with them, but he knew his old legs wouldn't let him. He watched Mole and Frog for a long time and he enjoyed the sight of his friends having fun. It was late when he arrived home. He wished the moon good night and he closed the curtains on the cold world outside. He made his way slowly down the walk to the warm fire that was waiting for him deep underground. He had his supper and then he sat down at a desk to write a letter. And when he was finished, he settled down in his rocking chair near the fire and he gently rocked himself back and forward, back and forward. And soon he was fast asleep, having a strange and wonderful dream like none he had ever had before. Much to Badger's surprise, in his dream he was running. He was running down a very long tunnel. His legs felt strong and stronger as he ran towards it and he no longer needed his walking stick so he left it on the floor of the tunnel he moved swiftly running faster and faster down the long passageway until his paws no longer touched the earth he felt himself turning and turning head over paws falling and tumbling but nothing hurt he felt as if he was free he felt as if he had fallen out of his body. The following day, Badger's friends gathered anxiously outside Badger's door. They were worried because he hadn't come out to say good morning as he always did. Fox broke the sad news that Badger was dead and read Badger's note to them. It says simply, I've gone down the long tunnel. Bye bye. Badger. All the animals loved Badger and everyone was very sad. Mole felt especially lost and alone and desperately unhappy. In bed that night, Mole could only think of Badger. Tears rolled down his velvety nose. Soaking the blankets he clung to for comfort. 
Outside, it began to snow. Winter had begun, and soon a thick layer of snow hid the animals' homes, where they would stay snug and warm during the cold months. The snow covered the countryside, but it didn't hide the sadness that Badger's friends felt. Badger had always been there when anyone needed him, and the animals all wondered what they would do now he was gone. Badger told them not to be unhappy, but it was hard not to be. A spring drew near. The animals often visited each other and talked about the days when Badger was alive. Mole was good at using scissors and he told and he told everyone about the time Badger had taught him to cut a chain of moles from a piece of folded paper. Paper moles had littered the ground that day. Mole remembered the joy he'd felt when he finally learned and succeeded in making a complete chain of moles all joined together. Frog was an excellent skater. He recalled how Badger had helped him take his first slippery steps on the ice. Badger had gently guided him across the ice until he had gained enough confidence to glide out on his own. Fox remembered how, when he was a young cub, he could never tie his tie properly until Badger showed him how. Starting with the wide eye end of the tie, it's right over left, warms round to the back, up, down, through the crossover, and holding on to the back of the tie, push the knot up to the neck. Fox could now tie every knot ever invented and some he'd even made up himself. And of course now, his necktie was always perfectly knotted. Badger had given Mrs Rabbit his special recipe for gingerbread and had shown her how to bake gingerbread rabbits. Mrs Rabbit was well known throughout the countryside for her excellent cooking. She talked about her first cooking lesson with Badger so long ago, but she could almost smell the wonderful smell of gingerbread fresh from the oven. Each of the animals had a special memory of Badger, something they had, he had taught them that they could now do extremely well themselves. He had given them each a parting gift to treasure always. And using these gifts, they would be able to help each other. As the last snow melted, so did the animal sadness. Whenever Badger's name was mentioned, someone remembered another story that made them all smile. One warm spring day, as Mole was walking on the hillside, where he'd last seen Badger, he wanted to thank him for his parting gift. Thank you, Badger, he said softly, believing that Badger would hear him. And somehow, Badger did. So there you go. It's just a little story that sometimes helps us remember all the good things about people who maybe are not in our lives anymore. Now you take care, have a good sleep and have really good dreams of happy, happy, happy times and hold those people you love close by. Take care. Night night everyone.